Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Hope breaks down after an emotional conversation with Douglas, and Thomas says farewell. In Forrester's dressing area, I hope Brooke gets an update on the situation with Thomas. Brooke believes that some things aren't meant to be. But she's surprised since Thomas looks so committed to her. For years, he had been determined to live with her. Hope felt she could rely on him, that he would always be there for her. But suddenly he is abandoning her and what they share. She clenches her teeth at not saying yes. I just wasn't ready. Hope wanted him in her life, but Steffi has made that impossible. She simply couldn't help herself. Thomas would not be doing this without Steffi. She poisoned him against me. Brooke Hope bed and breakfast. Brooke has spoken with Steffi and has stated that she does not disagree with Hope. She definitely poked her nose in and did everything it took to ruin her relationship with Thomas. She claims she's being a protective sister. Hope calls that bullshit she played the Forrester vs. Logan card. They agree that Douglas will not take this well. Just then a boy steps in. Hope brushes away her emotions and tells him they need to talk. Brooke gives them room. Hope assures Douglas that she would contact his father, but the child claims he is already aware that she declined his request. He's not the only one who got his hopes up. Douglas bed and breakfast. In the main office, Thomas informs Steffi and Ridge of his decision regarding Hope. Ridge grunts. It's a big step, son. Thomas considers it a vital one. Brooke walks in and tells Thomas she isn't sure he understands how devastated Hope is. Steffi snarks that she is feeling the effects of her own conduct. Brooke claims that it is the result of her interference. Brooke asks Thomas if this is truly necessary. Thomas inquires. What's with the 180? Your daughter did not want to marry me. You got what you wanted. Rich claims Brooke did not want to see either of them hurt. Thomas claims Brooke hasn't wanted him around Hope for years. Brooke squints at Steffi. More. Kim Matula's new Hallmark Christmas movie. Brooke informs Thomas that this is not what she wanted at all. Steffi rolls her eyes. Brooke reminds Thomas that she had warned him he might be disappointed. Ridge moans. Are you disappointed? His entire world crashed around him. Steffi responds by saying, Yeah, because Hope's daughter used him and finally Thomas came to his senses. Thomas cannot have Steffi attack Hope. He informs Brooke that he loves her daughter and wishes to spend the rest of his life with her. But she rejects this. This is what you wanted in the end. Brooke didn't want to see them in such agony. Brooke cries at Steffi. None of this would have happened if you hadn't involved yourself in the first place. She yells about the children involved. Douglas is currently with Hope. What's he going to do when he finds out his father is leaving his mother? Brooke Thomas bed and breakfast. Douglas questions Hope in the dressing room why she gave the impression that they were a family. She responds, We are family. Douglas states that she does not wish to marry. Hope tells him she doesn't, not now. She isn't ready for that major commitment right now, but that doesn't mean she won't be ready in the future or that she doesn't want to be with his father. Douglas believes she does not love dad enough to make them a real family. Why are we not good enough? You don't love us enough. More. Forgotten Forrester is back. Hope expresses her deep affection for Douglas. Douglas says that his father only wants to marry her and have a family. Hope insists that they are a family and that she will always be his mother. Douglas claims his mother died. I'm Caroline Spencer. Dad was enough for her. Hope flinches. She realizes things are difficult right now, but they will get through it together. I will always be here for you and I will always be a part of your life. Douglas responds, Not yet. I want to go with Dad. Hope says it's not that simple because they have joint custody. Douglas expresses a desire to accompany his father on his departure. I love him so much. He is my hero. Please do not stop me from going. Don't make me go through the court proceedings again. He needs me and I need him. Goodbye. With that, the boy turns and heads for the door. Hope protests. I love you. Douglas runs back into her arms. Hope lifts him up in a tearful bare embrace. I love you, mom. Hope cries. I love you. Douglas, I hope to hug B&B. &B. Hope sets the boy down and goes. Hope pulls up the engagement ring from the chain and tosses it across the room, 
screams and tears. Hope cries saw BNB. Brooke inquires in the main office whether Steffi had considered Douglas at all. That little boy is going to be crushed. Steffi believes Hope should have thought about that before messing with Thomas's emotions and using him like a sex toy. Brooke's jaw dropped. Douglas then enters. He says he told Hope how disappointed he is and that he wishes to accompany him. Brooke inquires. You're going away. Thomas says he's heading to Paris for a bit, but he's not sure how long. Douglas is coming with me. Brooke points out that Hope is his mother and has a voice in this. Douglas informs her. I told her I needed to go with my dad. Ridge will miss them but he can understand. He hugs both Thomas and Douglas. Steffi gives Brooke a smug grin before hugging him as well. Thomas says, Bye Brooke. He'll let them know when they're settled. Steffi leads them out. Brooke cries. I can only imagine what Hope is feeling about all of this. Douglas Thomas Steffi Ridge bed and breakfast. More. B&B organizes an epic romantic reunion. Hope reminisces about wonderful moments with Thomas and Douglas in the dressing room as the boy's words resonate in her head. Why are we not good enough? You don't love us enough. Thomas says, Steffi was right. Steffi comes and announces, I just walked Thomas and Douglas out. They are on their way to Paris. Hope isn't in the mood. Undaunted Steffi taunts, Thomas finally recognizes you for who you are. Hallelujah. Thomas and Douglas have left, free of you. You're officially out of their lives. Hope looks at her with a scary expression. Hope glare BNB. More. Why would Steffi regret sending Thomas away? Next on the bold and the beautiful. Steffi and Hope's feud grows as they level accusations at one other, and Zend asks Luna if they have a future together. Hope and Thomas split. Douglas receives news and Steffi celebrates victory. According to the bold and the beautiful teasers for Thursday, March 28th, Hope Logan, Annika Noel, and Thomas Forrester Matthew Atkinson will reveal their breakup to Douglas Forrester, Henry Joseph Samory. Douglas will also learn that he and Thomas are leaving LA and relocating to Paris. Meanwhile, Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, celebrates her success in separating Hope and Thomas. Will Steffi come to regret this? Douglas Forrester learns about his parents' split. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Douglas will discover that his plans for his parents have failed. Hope and Thomas have broken up, and they will not be marrying as he had hoped. Douglas had always wanted his parents to be together, and hoped that they would marry. Now that Hope and Thomas have split up, they will no longer work together. Thomas and Hope may love each other, but it does not guarantee they are destined to be together. Thomas can't handle being around Hope anymore now that she's rejected down his proposal. Douglas is about to receive much more news. BMB spoilers. Douglas Forrester receives shocking news. Douglas has spent much of his life living with Hope, only seeing his father on rare occasions. Other times, Thomas has paid regular visits to his son. Now that Thomas and Hope have split up, he is determined to leave town. Thomas plans to take Douglas with him. Thomas has no intention of leaving his son behind when he relocates to Paris. Thomas is determined to begin a new life away from hope and hope for the future. Douglas is preparing to start afresh in Paris with his father, leaving behind his mother and sister. How will Douglas handle this information? BMB spoilers. Hope and Thomas split. Douglas news and Steffi celebrates victory. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Steffi Forrester celebrates. Steffi has gotten exactly what she wanted, and Thomas and Hope are separated. Steffi is overjoyed that Thomas has finally realized what is going on. Steffi believes she has proven that Hope is similar to her mother, and was simply using Thomas. Steffi is certain that Hope and Thomas are done for good. Unfortunately, Steffi may eventually come to regret her actions. Steffi and John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, are already having problems, and Hope is one of his close pals. Could Steffi be forcing her husband and hope into each other's arms? Will Steffi's interference come back to haunt her in the end?